Hi, I'm Carolyn, AKA Binary Blonde. Welcome to my channel about RVing. Little backstory, um, Binary Blonde comes from the fact that I am a software developer. Um, I've been in the computer industry for about 20 years um, and it started as a gamer tag and it just kind of works. Um, I am a mother of three. My youngest is 16 and I am trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my life. Um, I'm single and um, I fell in love with camping this last summer and I kind of feel like I have been um, pushing the pause button on my life, waiting for my soulmate. And um, I think it's time for the adventure to begin some. You know, the kids are working or and about to go off to college and I'm kind of trying to figure out what the next chapter of my life looks like. And honestly, I'm sick of waiting around. So when I, I fell in love with camping last summer and decided I wanted to buy an RV. I know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. Maybe you can figure it out with me. <laughs> Sure, there's going to be lots of laughs, maybe some tears, <laughs> but, um, you know, I've seen some of these channels and, um, like follow your daydreams and they've been so helpful that I thought, hmm, maybe I can help other people who are trying this too. Um, I'm a little girly, <laughs> but, um, I really want this, um, I started camping last summer with some friends and we went, I don't know, five or six times and I loved it. Camping as a grown up is so much different than camping with little kids. It's relaxing. I would have used a lot of words to describe my camping experiences when I took my little kids and they were great family memories. But relaxing was not one of the words that I would have used. Mama, I'm hungry. Mama, I'm bored. Mama, where's this? It was really hard. Um, but now it's nice. You can float in the water, listen to music, enjoy the sunshine. I added a weight to my float so that I didn't even have to worry about floating away. I could just relax. It was great. And I just, I got the bug. So I knew that um, I was gonna want an RV because tent camping in the rain, not fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a really nice setup. My camping was probably defined as glamping. You know, I had like the Coleman Insta pop-up tent that it took like two minutes for me to set up my big 10 person tent. And I bought a room air conditioner and had an air conditioner in my tent because Tennessee summers get hot. Um, air mattress, lots of lots because decorating is fun. Um, and it was awesome, but I want a shower and I don't want rain. Last camping trip we went on, it rained and rained and rained. And it was still fun because, you know, we sat under awnings and still had amazing food and wonderful laughs and stories and still even had the bonfire. But the tent part, nah. So, um, I started looking at campers pretty quickly after I started camping and decided how much I liked it. Um, I almost bought a Class C, which if you don't know what a Class C is, it's one that you drive. 
It's not the bus and it's not the van, but it's the one in between that's kind of a mid-size camper. And I found one that was a deal. Um, but you gotta be careful on those deals because after I had it, you know, inspected and had people look at it, um, the work that was gonna be needed to get the trailer up to par was gonna be two times the amount of what I spent for it to begin with. So when I looked at it that way, that gave, that was like, well, if I'm gonna spend, you know, that much money on a camper, then I wanna get a camper that's worth that much money. So um, I didn't buy it um, and I started doing research into what kind of camper I really wanted. Um, I decided fairly quickly I didn't want a Class C. Um, I was very comfortable driving a Class C. I wasn't scared or intimidated in the least about driving a Class C. But the, um, the, the thought of having to pack up my campsite anytime I needed to leave, unless I was with friends and then I would have to borrow their vehicle if I needed to go to the store, that just kind of killed the Class C for me. And I also didn't want to um, let the fear of doing something new, uh, like pulling a, a camper, stop me from getting what I really wanted. Um, so I decided fairly quickly that a travel trailer was what I wanted. That's my cat. Um, so I knew I didn't want a pop-up. Um, I wanted a shower. The, uh, the camping places that we stayed at all had showers and, you know, they did a great job with the showers. Some of them were more uh, natural than others, but, um, I didn't really like having to use them because like there was one camping trip that we went on that none of the other, um, girl tent campers stayed the night. You know, they came and had dinner, but they weren't able to stay the night or whatever. So I was the only girl tent camper. And so I had to take um, a shower by myself. You know, there was nobody in the next stall or anything with me. And um, I was like 500 yards away from our camping site and it was a little scary. Um, I mean, I was fine, nothing happened, but it was, it was scary. And I was like, I don't wanna do this again. So, um, that has eliminated the pop-up for me. I know you can get showers in a pop-up, but that's a lot of money. Um, so to me, uh, pop-up even with a shower just wasn't what I wanted. Um, so when I decided for sure, yes, I know that I want a travel trailer. Um, I started eyeballing trailers, but also uh, looking for a truck because I had a Cadillac XT5 that I loved, but it could only pull like 3,500 pounds and um, I couldn't really find what I wanted in that. I mean, you probably can. There are some and there's some really nice ones, but I couldn't find what I wanted in that and I didn't want to be limited because of that. So I, uh, in November, I bought a truck I bought a Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and I got the um, 6.2 liter V8 so that it had some more towing power. Um, I didn't want a bigger one. I didn't want a three quarter ton truck or a ton truck. My half ton truck barely fits in my garage and it's my everyday driver. So I didn't want a monster truck. Mine's plenty big. And it has a towing capacity of 9,200 pounds. So, um, I started looking at RVs and I was, a, I went to like Camping World and RV Gander and, or Gander RV, whatever it's called. Um, and I, I started looking and um, I saw some really nice ones. Um, decided there really wasn't much value in buying used because right now with COVID, I don't know if everybody just got the love for it like I did last year or if um, people are just buying them so they can do stuff with their family. But 
there's just no really good deals right now. So, um, I did decide I wanted new and I started looking and my friend was like, have you checked out the ones with the slides? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Um, you know, at first I wanted small. I was like, I want it to feel like I'm camping when I'm camping. I just want to shower too. Tell I saw one with the slide. <laughs> um, I ended up, um, getting a 27 foot, 75,000 pound, 7,500 pound camper. Now, a thousand pounds of that is water, so that I don't think I'm ever going to be hauling that much water. Hopefully, I'll always be able to use a dump tank and I won't need fresh water, but that's massive. I am terrified. I don't know how to do any of this, but my camper is awesome. I got an Alpha Wolf um, 22. S W L. That doesn't mean that the camper itself is 22. Um, because no, I don't know where they get those numbers from because I think the, the box of the camper, um, is 25 feet, And then you've got the hitch, which is another two, three feet. So yeah, but it's got a fireplace, theater seating, and a nice bathroom. But I, 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 I got an okay price. You know, I love getting deals. Oh, I think getting deals is the female equivalent to hunting. If I can find something awesome at a thrift store or at a, if I find something 50% off, ah, I'm so happy. I have a feeling though. I'm not going to be running across that a lot in the RV world. But anyway, I know that a lot of these channels have helped me virtually learn because I don't pick up my camper until next Tuesday. But, um, so I thought maybe I could help other newbies, maybe other single women who are thinking about starting this adventure and kind of show it from my perspective, I've been Googling how to pull a tra trailer, how to back up a trailer, how to fix a flat. Apparently, trailers get flats all the time. I haven't changed a flat since I was 15 and my dad made me do it before I got my license. But I'm going to practice. Um, in fact, this weekend, um, my dad um, is buying a car hauler, which is the same length as my camper and we're gonna practice backing it up in a church parking lot. So, um, you know, I just thought I would try this channel thing and maybe help other people. And if nothing else, I will give you some laughs. I guarantee it. <laughs> um, so um, hopefully we can laugh together. Um, there may be some tears. <laughs> But um, I just thought I'd give it a shot. So wish me luck and um, come back and follow my adventures and maybe have some of your own. I'm Carolyn, a.k.a. Binary Blonde. See you next time.